back to the channel today. I am so excited to film this specific section of Halloween decor hunting because I have these gorgeous bookshelves around my TV in our new home. And I'm doing a haunted apothecary, mad scientisty vibe in here. And I still have so many Halloween decorations to use up from my Halloween decor unboxing. I finished the mantle and I finished the kitchen. So that means that it is time to go in on these bookshelves. I'm so excited. It's going to look so freaking spooky, haunted, mysterious, love. I cannot wait. So let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, you guys, I am going to pull, I have to sneeze again. These shelves are like super dusty. And so it's like getting to my allergies really bad. Uh, we had all the ceilings scraped smooth. That's why it looks crazy up here from popcorn ceilings. Sorry if you've watched like a lot of my Halloween videos and I keep talking about that. It's just like every video I just want to mention it. <coughs> we just bought this house. So there's like a lot of new stuff going on but the dust is getting to me so bad. So anyways, it's funny because I really want something really tall to go here and I use my Billy Butcherson headstone for the mantle already, so I don't have that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with all of like the tallest objects that I have that are not gonna fit on other shelves and try and get those up first um, and then go from there. It's funny though, because like, even though I have so many Halloween de decorations, I'm seeing how many more I can buy now that we have a bigger house with more space to decorate, which is obviously very dangerous considering I already have literally thousands and thousands of dollars worth of Halloween decorations. But you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna live our lives. So leave me alone. <laughs> some tall candlesticks that I definitely want to put up top and I think they're in a box somewhere or like the candle holders and I have spooky candlesticks to go in them so I'm gonna go see if I can hunt those down I'll be right back found them <laughs> I think that's everything that I have that like will not fit on any of these shelves. Can't wait to add more up there, I'm not gonna lie. So what I'm gonna do next, because I think this will kind of help me stay organized and make sure things are spread out, is I'm gonna put all like items up. So I'm gonna put all the cauldrons up, then I'm gonna put all the skulls up, and then all the candles up. So just so I'm not accidentally like leaving myself with only cauldrons to put on these two shelves, you know what I mean? So let's get this situated so you guys can see. It's looking so good already. Literally creepy cloth just adds so much for real. All right, let's start with cauldrons and I've got two sets of cauldron trios. So we're gonna do those first.
I think that's all the cauldrons. And so we're going to move on to skulls because I have so many freaking skulls that need to go up. So let's put some skulls up, baby. One thing that I definitely noticed while I was putting up these decorations is like I said before, how much room I have. And it's funny because even at the end of this, I feel like these shelves look very empty compared to what I want it to look like. So definitely make sure you guys subscribe if you wanna see some Halloween thrifting, cause I think I wanna go get a bunch of old books and bottles. I definitely wanna get some Halloween florals to like kind of put in some of the cauldrons and drape down some of the shelving. So I'm really happy with how the bookshelves shaped up, but I'm also excited to continue adding more over the Halloween season for sure.
All right, you guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed decorating my living room with me. Honestly, I am obsessed with how this turned out. It's a little all over the place in some places, I'm not gonna lie, and I definitely want to add some more to it. Like I said before, I would love to go thrifting and get some old books and bottles and continue to just find things that fit this very haunted apothecary vibe. I definitely need some Halloween florals to go with it and other things here and there. So if you have any recommendations, definitely leave them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for Halloween content every single day day until a Halloween night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.